Okay, so today I got a cool unboxing video. I got my Korean Yukio boxes from South Korea and yeah, it's old school Yu-Gi-Oh! So I'm gonna do this unboxing as fast as I can because I don't like making long videos. So let me get to it. Now I saw these for about $30 each and I just had to get them. So I ordered two sets of LOB, two sets of Metal Raiders and two sets of Magic Ruler. And those three, I wanted to get the Feral Servant set as well, but I couldn't find it, they didn't have it. So I might order that when I see it available and then do a video on that. Okay, so there they are. Ooh, wow, they look beautiful. Okay, and nicely packaged too. Wow, that is so cool. Okay, so let me take the spell ruler out or magic ruler, whatever it says. I can't read Korean, unfortunately, but yeah, there's, I'm just gonna call it magic ruler. There's relinquish right there. Yugi, tune summon skull. And uh, Toon World. Oh, that's upside down. There you go, Toon World. Okay. Here's the other magic ruler. And Metal Raiders. Got Black Skull. We've got Barrel Dragon with the censored art. I guess Korean. Got it censored as well. And at the top, we've got Summon Skull. Just got another Metal Raiders. Oh, and probably the best one out of the bunch is going to be the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon right there. Nice. So we got Blue Eyes right there. Alternate art. Dark Magician, nothing in the bottom, and we've got Exodia right there. Okay, so I want to do an unboxing video for the Legend of Blue Eyes when I get like a better setup. So for right now, I'll, I'll do a Metal Raiders unboxing. I think that'd be cool. Okay, so... All right, guess I'll go with this one and huh, I thought they were going to be like wrapped, you know, with that plastic wrapper, but they're not. I could, I could just open them. Huh? It's kind of weird, but okay. All right, there it is. Let me see. Okay, I'll just, I'll just go like that. So I've never opened Korean packs. I've had Spanish packs, English packs, and Japanese packs, but never Korean, first time. So there's the pack. And okay, the packs are different from what I'm used to. Hmm, how, how would I open this? Is it from, I've seen people open them from over here, so. Okay, I can't do that. Okay, let me try to figure this out. Okay, there you go. Okay. Yeah, my bad for taking a while. I just, I'm not, I'm not used to opening these packs. The the pack feels a lot different from the, from the English ones. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we got lizard guy. One of Joey's cards. Forgot the name. Electric Lizard. 
I want to go with Big Insect. And okay, we've got Magician of Faith. Nice, rare. Okay, that's a that's a good start. That's a good start. This is the back. You can see the Korean Yu-Gi-Oh logo. And okay, nice. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see, where can I put this? Right here, maybe. Okay. Okay, next pack. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Soul release. I know that one. Gazelle, the king of mystical beast. Mythical beast. Pumpkin King, yeah. Some warrior guy, and oh damn, catapult turtle, nice, nice, nice. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, that was also a good pack. Okay, third pack. I think there are forty packs in each box, and only five cards. Compared to the nine that I'm used to here in America. Okay. Alright, there you go. Steel. Ogre, Ogre Grotto, I think. Number one or two. A Lady of Faith. Yeah, Bakura, Bakura's card. I don't know. Uh, Thunder Ruler? And White Magical Hat. Okay, cool. The also Bakura's card. Alright, so far, I think we're doing pretty good. Lots of nostalgia. Metal Raiders. The second pack of the Yukio Booster Saga. Came out in the summer of 2002. I want to go with Stem Pack. Um, Crass Crown. Clown. Crass Clown. There you go. Ancient Brain, I want to say. And. Oh, damn, Karibo. Nice. Karibo. So, I never pulled Karibo back in the day, but I did buy it off an ice cream truck woman for like five bucks. So, yeah, I've had Karibo for the longest. And he was in my deck too, like, for the longest as well. Until I, until I lost my deck pretty much. I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and I put all my cards in a box. And yeah, that box is, that box is gone, unfortunately. But yeah, Karibo... Definitely a good card. Definitely. I think Karibo was the first uh, like hand trap that you could use on your opponent's turn. That was, that was pretty neat. Okay. Cocoon of Evolution. Launcher Spider. No idea. I, th I think Joey might have used this one. Bist Bistro Butcher. Yeah. And... Dude, Time Wizard? What? What? Really? Oh my. Damn. Nice. Time Wizard. Yugi slash Joey's card. Nice. So, <laughs> funny story. My older brother had a Mirror Force that he pulled. And I knew a guy in middle school who had a time wizard and i convinced my brother to trade his mirror force for the time wizard which at the time i don't think it was a good trade um for some reason i thought time wizard was better than mirror force but you know i was a kid i was wrong and yeah that was that was something dumb that i i did when i was <laughs> when i was a young kid i convinced my brother to trade a mirror force for a time wizard 
That was not smart at all. Okay, Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. Cool card. No idea, I forgot. Tainted Wisdom. Thunder Dragon, good card. I didn't know it was a good card back in the day. I thought, wow, five stars for only um, 1,600 attack. I was like, yeah, that's not good. But yeah, it turns out this card's actually very good. And uh, Mask of Darkness, nice. Okay, I don't know how many packs we're in right now. I think maybe six or seven. But I think we are doing very good. I don't know if I'm going to open all these because I don't like the videos to be too long, but I don't know. I'll see. Larva Moth, Ryukushin Powered, Starter Deck card. I don't remember. Something Mushroom, maybe. And Seven Tools of the Bandit. What? What? Huh. Okay, either I'm getting really good luck or the ratios are easier to pull hollows on the Korean sets. I'm not sure, but I think I'm getting really good luck right now. So this card, again, same thing as Karibo for me. I did not pull it in in a Meta Raiders pack. I actually bought it off uh, Ice Cream Truck Woman. It was a different one, and uh, she was selling it for 10 bucks, which... I thought it was a really good deal and I yeah I, I bought it and it was a staple in my deck for I want to say a very long time until unfortunately I I don't know where I left my deck again in a box and I don't know anyway Pharaoh Imp probably Cerebrus Fire Cerebrus or something Dream Clown Okay, it's one of my favorites in Dark Duel Stories. Jiragumo. OP and DDS for sure. And um come on, I think this was a good card too. Something goblin. Yeah. Okay. Wow, we still got a bunch of packs there. Okay, but I feel like I'm doing very good, so let me let me keep going. Let me keep going here. Okay. Oh, this one I'm having trouble getting this one out. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, get out, man. Yes. Okay, there you go. I want to say Armored Zombie, Bistro Butcher, this guy, okay, Castle of Dark Illusions, with an interesting attack and defense stats, I hope the camera picks that up, and we've got Gazelle, okay, our first pack with no rare, okay, alright, apparently they do that on the Asian packs. I found that out when I was a kid. I would buy the Japanese packs they have in the liquor store. And I'd be upset because first, they gave you four less cards. And there was no rare. So I was like, what? Yeah. So we've got... Zombie dragon? Maybe? Crawling dragon? Yeah. Taint, tainted Wisdom or Big Brain or something. Dragon Piper, Classic, Pegasus. And this one. Okay, another pack. Pure Comments. It's cool. I think we, I've had amazing luck right now with Time Wizard. What else we got? The Seven Tools of the Bandit and Catapult Turtle. Those are all great cards. Definitely brought me some nostalgia. Okay. I think this was a starter deck card. Seven color fish. Oh, this one was good. 1800. 
Nice. Oh, I like this one too. I forgot, I forgot the name. But yeah, I've always liked this card. It looks like Summon Skull's brother. And okay, here we go. Shield and Sword. Nice. I remember this one being very popular at school. Nice. It's a rare. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna try to pick up the pace. Getting a little better at opening these packs. Again, I'm not used to opening these different. Okay, we've got old guy, bug, mystic horseman, swamp battle guard, and lady of faith has our common. Okay, nice, nice. Still doing very good. Okay, I, I think I'm almost halfway there. Okay. Okay, here we go. I want to say Meta Wolf or Meta Wolf. The, the Unhappy Maiden, I believe. And, oh, okay, we got a rare. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, Harpy Lady. Nice. Okay. It's the censored art. Okay. Still cool. Oh. Huh. Was she rare in the American packs? I, I I don't know. What's her name? Princess of Shirugi, I think. Huh. I don't remember pulling her. And this chicken. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right. Go launch a spider. Okay, lava battle guard. And the bug that powers up your wind monsters by 500. Okay, cool, cool. Cool, cool. All right, I hope I don't sound out of breath here. I probably am in this video because I kind of am out of breath. Um, just very excited and very nervous too, you know. Also, the nostalgia is hitting me. And, oh, I just ruined that. I think I, <laughs> I showed the last card already. Okay, I'm going to try to go a little faster. Okay. Okay. So, um, wow, that's a lot of packs. I think I'd rather open less packs with more cards than more packs with less cards but it's a new experience so you know new experiences are pretty cool sometimes okay armored lizard jiragumo illusionist faceless mage this guy and seven color fish as our Last card. Pretty cool. I think Seven Colored Fish and La Jin were the only cards at the time. Four star monsters that had 1800. So they were like, they were the best, one of the best cards in the game at this point. So getting that card was definitely a good thing. There you go. Ryukishin Powered. Dragon Piper. Okay. All right. We got a rare. Okay. I think it was Little Chimera. Powers up your fire monsters. By a whooping 500 points. 500 points. And lowers their defense by 400 points. So, you get a nice little trade-off there. 
Okay, I saw Harpy Lady right there. Censored version. There you go, Harpy Lady. Look at her. So cool. Oh, nice. Labyrinth Tank. I like the art in this one. And we've got... Oh, we've got... We've got her... I'm trying to remember her name. Witch of the Black Forest. Yeah. That's, that's a great card right there. Sangen, too. So, I remember using her to get to summon Skull in my hand. And, you know, you had summon Skull, you pretty much won the game because one tribute got you 2,500 attack on the field. And, and that's pretty powerful. Okay, here we go. Soggy, our first Soggy. And Metal Wolf. Okay. Okay, so looks like this is going to be a long video, but I mean, I'm almost there. I'm almost done. I think, I'll, I hope we still get great pools. Okay. Oh, okay. I haven't gotten this one yet. And Launcher Spider. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start putting them right here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, this did not rip well. Yeah, I'm not good at opening these Asian Yu-Gi-Oh packs, as you can tell. Okay, we got that. Okay, Rapid Horseman. Okay, first time we get getting him. Okay, and oh, Dark Elf. Nice. I actually wanted to pull this one. So yeah, she was like one of the better cards in Dark Duel Stories. And I just love playing that game, man. Yeah, the best part about Dark Duel Stories and using effect monsters over there, their negative effects were never applied. So her and Jurek Gumo were some of the best cards in the game because they didn't have that ne negative drawback. And I mean, she just looks cool too. She looks like a um, mystical elf's evil counterpart. Okay, I'm having trouble. Okay, here we go. Okay, Feral Imp. Lava Battle Guard. Pro Protector of the Throne, I want to say. And Ryukushin Powered. Okay. okay. Oh, nice. Okay, Musician King. Haven't gotten him yet. Jinso... Number seven, I think. Ring of Magnetism. And uh, White Magical Hat. At least we got a rare. Rares are not guaranteed here. Don't know why. Okay, this pack. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Right. There you go. Here we are. Uh, Cybersaurus, I want to say. A lot of these fusions in Metal Raiders have really cool artwork. I can appreciate good artwork. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. It won't come out. Huh. It's almost like you have to rip these packs completely. Like, you gotta destroy these packs in order to get the cards out. Okay. Okay, I haven't gotten this guy. Blast Juggler? No idea. I don't know. And Mask of Darkness. I think that's our second mask. Okay, almost done, almost done, almost done. I think there's like 10 packs left. Okay. 
Okay. Usually, if this was an American pack, it'll come out. But I don't know why. Okay. These don't come out here. Okay, okay. I think I got it. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to rip it. Like from the back. Okay. All right. Okay. Gazelle. Yeah. It's Chimera? No. What's his name? Burfamit. I don't think he's in this set. I have no idea when he actually came out. I don't remember him coming out in a in a pack. Which I find kind of weird. Because Yugi used him a lot in, in Battle City. Okay. Wow. Maybe I should have practiced off screen how to open these packs so I could save time. Okay. And then we got. Okay. I, oh, I think it was Robin Goblin. Yeah. I think that's the name of this card. Robin Goblin. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bikuru Box. Yeah, Bikuru Box. There it is. Block Attack. Shield and Sword. Cool. Shield and Sword. Nice. Okay. If I could pull Black Skull Dragon, man, that'd be that'd be awesome. If I could pull the cover card, that'd be awesome. I wonder if there's secret rares in in these in the Korean packs. I've never seen people pull secret rares out of these packs. Okay. Oh, the Deep Sea Sword. Remember using this one, and. The witch that powers up your dark monsters and decreases their defense. Okay. Alright. Go. Ryukushin. Okay, we haven't gotten this guy. Oh, okay, cool. We haven't gotten him either. Stamp pack. And Starboy. Yep. Increases your light monsters by, let's see Black Skull, let's see him. Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go, okay, okay, who it is? Ah, the, the crow, the crow thing. Okay, we've got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight packs, eight packs. All right, let's go through them. Let's go through them quick. Or as quickly as I could open the packs because I am struggling here opening these things. Okay, there we go. I'll probably save like, I'll probably save like the last three packs so I can give give one to my brother and my other brother and or maybe my friend too so maybe I'll save the last five packs and Lady of Faith there you go okay so let me count the packs how many do I have because I want to save about maybe five packs one two three four five okay yeah I'll save five packs and so I'll open these last two. Okay. Let's go. Oh, okay. This one opened kind of funny. Okay. Here we go. Oh, okay. So I think all the all our luck was in the front of the box, which I'm okay with because I think I pulled some good stuff. Time Wizard, definitely a throwback. Catapult Turtle. And 
What's the other one? Seven tools. Yeah. So, okay, the last pack I'm opening. Let's see. Heart of the cards. Guide us. And all that. And all that good stuff. Okay, last pack. All right, let's do it. Can we get Black Skull? I hope so. I hope so. Oh, okay. I, I just saw a purple border. So hopefully it's Black Skull. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. The Cheerful Coffin. Cybersaurus. Dream Clown. The, the, the Rat with Good Defense. And let's go from the, from the bottom, from the bottom, from the bottom. 20, 2,800. Who could that be? 2800 let's see let's see let's see let's see okay all right this is this is a good card nice so i do remember pulling this card off metal raiders back in 02 i didn't think it was a good card but n now i know it, it's actually it's actually it actually is a good card yeah yeah okay nice nice throwback there What's his name? I think Two-Headed Thunder Dragon, I want to say. Yeah. So apparently in Legend of Blue Eyes, there's a guy that looks just like him. And I guess they reused the art, I guess. I don't know why, I guess. Because Luke Takahashi got lazy and... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the deal was about that. But yeah, he's a... He's in a different card called something else. But I don't know. I can't really think right now. I think I'm mumbling my words. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm just excited. I think that was a great way to end this Metal Raiders Korean box unboxing. And let me go through. I would go through the other hollows, but you guys saw them. I don't want to make the video longer. I know I keep saying that, but. But yeah, okay, so. Oh, I'm just reading my GoPro right now. It's saying that it's too hot. So, okay. Um, peace out, guys. Later.